Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So, uh, today we're going to talk about the town halls. We'll talk about Biden's. We'll talk about Trump's. And then we're going to talk about Mr. Rogers. If you're on Twitter, you know why. Um, if you don't know, last night both candidates held town halls. There was a big uproar because they were at the same time and all of that. But they were both exactly what you would expect, to be honest. I mean, Biden's was very civil, kind of boring, to be completely honest. No big surprises. He said a couple of things that were less than ideal. Nothing major, but a few. The one that raised my eyebrows, and I'm sure everybody will have their particular moment, but for me it was when he said something to the effect of he had always hoped and worked to make the criminal justice system fair, or something along those lines. Yeah, I'm old enough to know that's not true. <laughs> but the rest of that statement, the rest of that answer, showed that he has definitely evolved on the topic since then. Um, I think maybe a better lead-in to that answer would have been that he's looking forward to fixing his mistakes, cleaning up his mess, something along those lines. However, he's a politician. You know, they don't, uh, they don't own their mistakes, typically. They, they don't admit they were wrong. That, that was it. I mean, it was stuff like that. Nothing huge. It was Joe Biden being Joe Biden. Like I said, kind of boring, to be completely honest. And then there was the Trump town hall, which is also exactly what you would expect, a complete dumpster fire. Um, lots of interrupting. Lots of him not actually answering the question. Lots of him saying he didn't know or couldn't remember or whatever. Um, my particular favorite moment was when he was asked to condemn or denounce a group that has been rather vocal in their support of him. <laughs> and he said he didn't know anything about him. Which, I mean, I get it. Again, he's a politician. He doesn't want to denounce a group that is vocal in their support of him. However, as President of the United States, it would be a complete and utter failure to not know anything about a group that the FBI has labeled a threat. Especially if your entire campaign is about law and order and keeping the suburbs safe. How are you going to protect the country when you don't know what the threats are? But, Again, there's plenty to choose from when it comes to the, the Trump town hall. And that's really all I'm going to say about that, because y'all are going to watch the clips. You can pick any random Biden clip and any random Trump clip and compare them. It's pretty clear. I want to talk about something else, though, because during the town halls, somebody on Trump's team... Well, they compared the Joe Biden town hall to watching an episode of Mr. Rogers. Good? That, that's not an insult. That is not an insult. Um, I'm not going to put the person's name out there simply because I'm certain they have already received enough backlash. I sent messages myself. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's not an insult. I know it may seem odd or even weird from somebody on the Trump team to see that and, you know, see somebody try to unite rather than divide somebody who's looking for the helpers instead of looking for somebody to blame. I get it. It's odd. But I would suggest that's exactly what the country needs right now. Go back and look at the videos. I am not overly enthusiastic about a Biden presidency. But if his opposition views him as Mr. Rogers, maybe Biden is my man. I mean, I get it. I get it from the Trump side of things. You know, that cardigan wearing weakling and all of that. However, I'd give just about anything to see President Biden dip his feet in a kiddie pool with a representative of every demographic that the current administration has marginalized and attacked. 
And if you don't get the reference, that's probably why you don't understand that Mr. Rogers showed more courage than anybody in the entire Trump administration. See, in 1969, there was an episode where him and this other guy, they dipped their feet into a kiddie pool together. And then they shared a towel. That was it. Not a huge thing. Except he was black. And this was at a time, even though segregation was kind of supposed to be over, it wasn't really happening. And he addressed it by leading, setting the example. And that's just one thing. The entire show softly addressed social issues, and he led the country more so than President Trump ever has. I, I, I get that uh, the Trump administration doesn't actually know anything about the ideas of America, but Mr. Rogers is kind of an American icon. I'm not sure positioning yourself as his opposition is going to play out well with the American voters. And I get it. The Trump administration has sullied the Constitution, the basic principles of this country, the foundational elements of democracy. I understand it, but y'all need to keep Mr. Rogers' name out your mouths. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.